Hi, this is Miriam Castilla and welcome to the Manifesting Playground for Soulful Women in Business, the place where we practice the art and science of effectology, which is all about marrying the magical with the practical so you can have more money and more time the easy way without all the hustle. Okay, I'm going to take you through the five steps to creating your own reality consciously. And that word is really important, consciously, because you know what? You are constantly creating your reality. You are the creator of your life. You are an electromagnetic being that is emitting a signal to which the field of infinite possibilities, the quantum field, the God mind, the matrix, whatever name you want to give it, it is responding because everything is energy and everything is in constant communication. And all this stuff that we think is solid, you know, around us, it's not really solid. It is actually particles popping in and out of this reality that we live in and the interesting thing about it is that those particles are actually not here a lot more than they are here so reality is constantly recreating and reassembling itself and you as a energetic being with consciousness can affect that reality you are the observer and the observer directly affects the reality that they are observing. So without getting into all the quantum physics of it, let's talk about what it takes to actually create your reality consciously because it's happening all the time, whether you like it or not. 98% of what goes on inside of us, in our bodies, our minds, our emotional system, it's totally unconscious. 98% of you is running the show and 2% of you is noticing what's going on and thinking that it's in charge. So. If you want to start switching up what's happening around you, you need to become more conscious. You need to bring those unconscious things up out of the unconscious and start making the changes. And then it can go back in there and start running the show on autopilot because wouldn't it be cool to just have everything you desire come to you automatically without you needing to think about it? Well, that's what happens when you start consciously creating your reality and programming your unconscious to then just take over. Super cool, right? So this is happening all the time anyway, but you want to choose. So step number one is exactly that. Choose, decide, decide what will actually light you up. What's going to give you that joy, that feeling that you're after? What is it you truly want? Because honestly, most people are out there saying, oh, I'm not happy about my life. But if you ask them what they actually want, they haven't got a freaking clue because they never actually sit down to work out what it is they do want what is important to them. They're so busy bitching about what they don't want and what they don't like about life, but ask them what they do want. And you know, they run out of things pretty quickly because just a big lump sum of money doesn't really get you very far. What do you want the money for? You know, what is it you want to do with it? So that's number one, decide. Second is line up with it, energetically start doing the work to become a match to it. And for that, you're going to need step three. You're going to need support and systems in place and your own habits and routines. And ideally, a little bit of a community and someone to smack you in the back of the head when you need it so that you stay on track because you don't just align once, you have to do the things it takes to stay and maintain your alignment, stay in and maintain that state of alignment frequently. Because you know what? The world around you has a really great way of getting your attention. So you need to stay in alignment with the future you, the outcome you're looking for, and practice the art of not getting sucked into lining up with the current you because then you get stuck where you are and you just keep getting same thing different day right so support and systems is the third one and then the fourth one is you really do need to be consciously aware of what's coming up that's getting in the way and clean out that gunk be aware of the gremlins. Notice the voice in the back of your mind that's saying, you can't do it, it's never going to happen, who do you think you are, blah, 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 blah. Be aware of that and have the tools and systems to clean out the garbage, to get rid of that shit because otherwise it will keep running unconsciously in the background and totally trip you up. And that's very frustrating. So you need to do that. And then, of course, the fifth and very important thing is 
You've got to support all of that by taking appropriate action, by showing up. If you're running a business, you've got to put yourself out there. If you're an employee, you've got to show up to work and do your very best. And when you do it from a place of alignment, from knowing what it is you want, what your end result that you're after is, and you're willing to constantly do the mindset work of clearing out the gunk, then your actions are leveraged by the power of that beautiful quantum field. It comes to your aid and you just show up in the right place at the right time because you're being unconsciously guided and absolute magic happens. You meet the right people at the right time and you think, wow, how did life ever get so magical? And it's simply those five steps that take you there. So remember the very first one is get clear on what's actually important to you. And if you think, hmm, yeah, uh, maybe I do need to do a little bit of a refresh, then click the link in the description around here somewhere and help yourself to my free Uncover Your Core Values mini course. It takes you through the entire process that I practice with my students. There's a video, there's a meditation, and there's a workbook to take you through it step by step so that you can powerfully connect with your core values, which are the things that light you up, which are the reason you want the stuff you want. And when you line up with those, then that alignment is going to feel fabulous. You're going to know when you're in alignment because it's going to feel freaking amazing. And yes, I did almost say another word. Cool. Have some fun with that. I'd love to know what your core values are once they pop, drop out the bottom end of that process. So feel welcome to leave me a comment here or message me or email me, whatever is your preferred me method of communication. And I shall see you next time. Until then, keep on embracing your amazing and unlimited potential. Bye.